Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Bienvenidos. I'm finally sitting down and filming an updated Amazon favorites video, which has been pretty highly requested here on my channel. I did do one a while ago and you guys loved the video. And so I wanted to do one with my recent Amazon favorites. And the stuff that I have laid out here is kind of random. I have some fitness, some travel, some clothing, some accessories, some jewelry, some skincare. So it's a little bit of everything, just like my other one. And a portion of today's video is sponsored by BioClarity. I'm gonna be showing you what I've been using from their skincare line for the past two, like a little over two weeks already that I've been trying their stuff. So I'm gonna show you some of that. But I think we're just gonna jump into it. Also, how do you guys feel about this? background i'm sitting on like the opposite side of my bedroom so let me know how you guys feel about it do you like it just let me know down below in the comments but let's go ahead and get into these amazon favorites i'm of course going to start with my bio clarity goodies first now before i even get into what's in here i'm gonna tell you a little bit about my skin so my skin as many of you guys know i do have oily acne prone skin but my main thing right now is getting rid of my hyperpigmentation which a lot of you guys know as acne scars but um obviously in order to get rid of my acne scars i first have to make sure that i'm clearing up my skin and that my skin isn't breaking out like crazy which recently it has been doing pretty pretty good i don't want to jinx it but I, right now, I'm using the clear skin routine from BioClarity, and I really have been using this right here for the past two weeks. Like, I wanna say it's been two weeks and a half. Ever since they delivered it to me, I was like, I'm gonna get on it, and I really wanna try it because I've seen their brand everywhere. I don't know about you guys, but let me show you what's in here. This is their three-step clear skin routine. This right here is their cleanser, which I've been using a lot. And then this one right here is the moisturizer. It does also come with a treatment, an acne treatment, if you are currently breaking out and you wanna make sure you get rid of all those breakouts before clearing up your like hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, you can use this. Right now, my skin is doing pretty good, so I haven't needed to use this. I've mainly been using these two right here this cleanser it's a clear very milky cleanser when you put it on to your skin it really foams up and a little bit actually goes a long way i have the 30 supply they have a 30 supply and a 60 sorry a 30 day supply and a 60 day supply and i have the 30 day supply and it's actually been lasting me i like i said have it for two weeks and it's not even halfway because this actually lasts you a pretty long time and this specific three-step system three-step routine is targeted for those of us who do have oily acne prone skin they do have a three-step system for those of you who have dry skin and they do have a three-step system for sensitive skin just kind of adding that in there and these are more plant-based products which i've never i've never ever ever had a skincare system just plant-based and naturally derived along with those products i've also been using their clarifying mask now this one i've only used it about three times i use it once the first week that i got it just to see how my skin would react and then i use it twice this past week and i do really like this mask first of all it smells really fresh it smells kind of like peppermint very minty and very fresh it is a thicker mask it kind of feels clay like but it leaves your pores and your skin feeling nice and tight almost immediately after you rinse it off. This one also has Floralux, which is their key ingredient. It's a form of chlorophyll. I don't know if you guys have like anybody in your family that drinks, how do you say it? Chlorophylla? It's like a green liquidy thing. You put it in water and you can actually drink it. Well, that is what this, well, that's an ingredient, I should say, that is in all of these that is similar for detoxing so that's really really nice i do have their products linked in my amazon shop and i'm also going to have links down below for you guys to check out i've mentioned to you guys that my skin is more of a fan of clean fresh simple skincare and this is just that Ooh, it just started raining outside you guys can probably hear the little rain in the background but i guess i'll move into the accessories and the jewelry that i've been wearing because whenever i wear something that's from Amazon you guys are like where is that from where is that from and so I'll start with the ring that I'm wearing right now so this ring right here is supposed to be a dupe for the Cartier ring it was like 
15 I want to say like 15 bucks around there wasn't expensive but it looks very similar to it and I've showered with this ring I've moved around knocked things and all that stuff and it hasn't gotten scratched it hasn't you know gotten green or made my finger green or anything like that it's really cute and it's just a simple simple ring you could stack these if you want to I just like the one I'm like I just like the one I think it looks super simple um, it comes in this box right here that at least mine did. I got two different sizes because I wasn't sure. But for my middle finger, I ended up getting a size 7, I think. And so it comes in the box and then it comes in this little plastic bag, just like that. And another thing that I get questions on, which is similar to the ring, is the bracelet. And this one, again, obviously I got it from Amazon. This is an Amazon haul slash favorites. But this right here, I wear it a lot as well. And I always get questions about where this bracelet is from. And I got this so long ago from Amazon. And this one does have little dents and scratches in it because I've been pretty rough with it. And I actually need to get a new one because this one's kind of like, it undoes itself for some reason. But this one, I like the shape. I do have another one from a different company but I like the one from here because the shape of the bracelet isn't a perfect circle it's more of an oval I don't know if you guys can see that it's more like this rather than being a perfect circle because my wrist obviously is more skinny and then it's wider so it just fits perfectly I don't know I just like it this one does have little stones on it like little fake diamond stones the ring doesn't, but it matches perfectly. And I've showered with this one as well accidentally, and it hasn't gotten like ugly or anything like that. But I like it. It's simple, simple, cute jewelry. And the last, I think the last jewelry thing that I have, I'm pretty sure, is this watch. I do want to go and get like a super bougie watch eventually, but I don't really wear my watches often. So I got this watch from keep saying from Amazon I need to stop saying that because everything's from Amazon but I got this watch and I want to say it was like under 20 bucks I did have to go get it sized so with the sizing it ended up coming out to like $20 or $25 but I just went to the mall at my mall they have a place where you can get your watch sized and I like the color it's a really nice bright gold I do wish it was a little bit less loud I wish it was more of a lighter kind of gold and not so you know what i mean but i still like it it's really nice and it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is and on here it's not too much like there's a little rhinestone at the top at the 12 o'clock mark but the rest is just very simple it's gold on gold i don't know i just love this watch i used to have one from i think it was guess or something but it was just too bulky, too many rhinestones. It was just doing too much. So this one I do really, really like, and it was so inexpensive. I have some glasses. Me and Darius have these glasses, and I just really like the style. They do have like the blue light thing, which is supposed to help you when you're on the computer, when you're watching TV, stuff like that. I don't know if the blue light thing works. I just like the glasses because I think they look cute, and they're these right here. I don't know if I wore them. I don't think I've worn them in a video, but I have wore them on Instagram. They're so cute. They have a clear frame all the way around. I know it's kind of hard to show you because you can see the reflection, but these are so, so cute. I did see some other ones just last night that I want to get. They're a little bit different than this, but I just really like the way these look. Darius, like, he loves these glasses. He swears they help him, like, see better. They don't have prescription or anything like that, but he's like, they just help me when I'm watching TV and stuff. So he actually really likes the, like, blue light and everything like that. But I just like the way that they look. They're really cute, and they go with everything because they're clear. And these glasses, I feel like they're everywhere. And the whole blue light thing is kind of like a thing right now. And then these are kind of a thing right now so it has both in one and i guess i'll do i meant to i meant to talk about this while i was talking about my skincare but this is a sweet almond oil and it's supposed to be like a body oil okay i showed you guys again on my instagram if you want to follow me on instagram 
just follow me on there. I'm always post. You, you guys, most of you who have me on Instagram have seen most of these things already. But um, I did mention on there that I got the Shea Moisture Shea Butter. And that one for my body, I didn't really like it because you have to go in and dig it out and you have to melt it and make sure it's perfectly melted into the skin. It's just too much work when you're in a rush. It's nice when you want to take your time and everything, but most of the time I just want my skin to look nice and shiny and moisturized quick. So I got this almond oil and I really like this. It's just like baby oil. It smells amazing. It makes your skin look super moisturized, but it's not slippery at all. And I have actually wore this over top of, no, no, no. I put a little bit of my sunscreen. I'll spray it everywhere, rub it into my body, and then I'll put some of this on and then I'll put a little bit more sunscreen. And this has helped with tanning. And of course it's not recommended to tan outside in the sun, but I usually just like to do it that way. I just make sure to put on a lot of sunscreen and SPF, but I don't know, I really like it and it really moisturizes my skin and I just like the way that it feels. And it makes your skin look glowy and a little bit shiny for a long time. It's not like you put it on and then it soaks up in your skin and then it's like pointless. No, this actually lasts you. And I have this little bottle because a little bit does go a long way as well but they do sell it in a bigger one and I'm gonna get the bigger one because I'm gonna be using this like crazy in the summertime. These leggings make your legs and your butt and your waist look so good. The waist, you can see it's like tight and then the butt part, it looks kind of like weird because it's loose, but you can see these lines right here and then it has th these little like holes which is just part of the design. And your skin does peek through this, by the way. And then it has the little lines in the front. But this part right here, the waist and the butt part, it makes it look perfectly plump. And these lines right here go right underneath, like, you know, the curvage. And it just looks so good. And I would actually size up. I think I'm officially a size medium. So if you're just go with your regular size, because for me, I got a size small and it fits me good. But to put them on and take them off, I'm like struggling to put them on and take them off, which is crazy because, yeah, I think I officially went up to a size medium in leggings. But this right here, these leggings, I have them in gray and I have them in a navy blue, but I'm going to get like a few more. I think they say they're like similar to the... Is it Lululemon or what is that brand that everybody... Gymshark. That's the brand. They say they're similar to this. I think I saw that in some of the reviews. I don't know. I just like the leggings and they just fit perfectly and they're squat proof. They're not super see-through or anything like that. I just... These are bomb. And then another fitness thing that I have that I always get questions about. I mainly want to show you guys so I can kind of talk about it, but it's this Sweet Sweat Waist Trimmer. And I've had this for a long time already and I use it almost every single time that I work out. Not necessarily for slimming the waist or for waist training, more so for posture. So when I'm doing my weights and when I'm doing my squats, it keeps my waist and my back straight. That's why I like to use it. And it just makes me sweat a lot more in that area and I can get rid of any water weight or anything like that so that's what i like to use this for i've mentioned this before i hardly sweat and i've always been like this even throughout high school when i was in full-on sports i just don't really sweat and i'll drink water i drink a lot of water super hydrated and i just won't sweat so this really helps me sweat in that area people say that they have noticed a difference in their waist and it getting smaller um, for me, I I just mainly like it for the posture and because it makes me sweat a lot more. Also, my little, um, what are these called? Resistant bands. When I post my little Instagram story workouts, I get questions about these. They come in a pack of five. So right here I have the, what is this? Extra light light the medium and then it has a heavy i have it in here yeah this is the heavy 
and there's another one this is the heavy extra heavy so it comes in a set of five these very pretty blue colors and I got asked if these roll up or if they rip they haven't ripped on me all five have been good i mainly use the extra heavy and the heavy for the workouts that i do i don't really use these right here but they haven't ripped on me they don't really roll up on me i think with any resistant band it's kind of inevitable they might roll a little bit or slip if you guys know of any resistant bands that don't do that let me know i have seen one that's more of a cloth and it's thicker um i don't know I've never tried that one, but let me know if you guys know of them. But I did want to mention these because when I do feature them, you guys ask about where I got them from, and they are from there. They come in this little bag too, which is cute if you want to put them all in here and then just throw it in your gym bag. It's super tiny. It doesn't take up any room. And speaking of gym bags, my gym bag I got from Amazon as well. It's a Nike one, which is really cute and simple. It's just a black one. I'm not the type to carry a full-on big gym bag. I carry very minimal stuff just because I don't shower at the gym. I just come straight home and shower here. So I just put my headphones in here. I put my phone. I put my little waist tr trimmer, my resistant bands, a water bottle, maybe my protein shake. And I think that's all I put in here for the most part. What do I have in here? Yeah, I have my little phone holder. So yeah, I, I don't carry much. So this for me is the perfect size for the gym. And it does have two different compartments on the inside. See, it has like a flap right here. So it has that side. And then it has this side. You can put your shoes if they're dirty and you don't want to get your other stuff dirty and filthy. And it also has a zipper on the back. So you can put whatever you want in there. And I like it as well because where you put your shoes in the front, it has this mesh so your shoes can kind of breathe and they're not stinking up your entire gym bag. Before I even move on, uh, I forgot to mention my phone cases for the accessory part because this one, you guys would always ask me where I got this from. So this one was under 10 bucks as well, I'm pretty sure. And I, I've had it forever and it still looks really, really good, but I like the little holographic look that it has. And they did have it in other colors. I think they had it like in a purpley kind of color, unicorn looking kind of color, but I just got the white. I like the way it looks. It kind of looks like shattered glass ish i don't know but i like it i recently changed my phone case though to just a pure white so i'll link this one down below as well so it's easy for you guys to shop but i just like having simple phone cases i just like that clean look when it comes to my phone so these two i really really love this one i might actually get again just a new one because the sides are already like kind of dirty and nasty looking but this one lasted me a really long time and I did drop my phone a few times, I'm not gonna lie, but my phone has never, my phone has never cracked. It's never ever cracked with either case. So I'm just saying, obviously it's not recommended for you to test that out, but just in case, you know. And along with that, my six foot rose gold charger. And I was hoping they had this one in a 10 foot just because I don't know why I would need a 10 foot just in case. But I got this six foot one and it's it's perfect for I have it connected behind my bed and I still have enough, you know, room to kind of pick up my phone and put it in different areas on my bed or whatever. And I'm not like struggling with my phone trying to charge it and use it at the same time. But yeah, this one is long and it's rose gold. It's really pretty. I love my rose gold and my neutral. So I had to have this one. It's a simple accessory, something, you know, maybe you don't feel like you need, but a rose gold six foot charger might be something that you need. Two just random things. Actually, no, I'll leave the two random things for last. And I'll show you guys my little travel toiletry bag again with the neutrals this beige neutral kind of color so in the front it just says travel and this is the inside i have my little my little badge so wipes 
but I have this already packed. That way, if we're going on like a last minute trip or something, we like to do random little weekend trips. So I already have this packed. I just need to throw in like a few more things and I'm good to go. So that's why I keep all this stuff in here. But I keep, it's a small little bag, but it actually holds a lot of stuff. I have this Listerine, this cute travel-ish Listerine. And then I have some baby oil, bio oil, face wash, my toner, some poopery, some lotion. I just have things at like essentials. And then I have band-aids, ligas, and then just like my little wipes. And it fits all of that just in this bag. And you can still put a lot more in there. Plus it has a hook so you can hang it in the bathroom and everything is just kind of ready for you to use. So this is perfect for travel. I want to say they had other colors as well, but I got this color because I have my packing cubes the same exact color. So I like to, you know, travel in style. But yeah, this was really cheap as well. And the two random things that I was talking about, which I never thought of buying, and they've actually low-key been lifesavers for my little girls up here. So this tape right here, yes. I use this tape to tape whenever I don't want to wear a bra. If there's a certain shirt or a certain dress that is just a little weird at the top or it's backless, whatever it is, and I just, there's no way I can wear a bra without it showing, I will just tape right here and it's magic. You can tape on the sides if you wanna give yourself a little bit of cleavage. You can tape down here if you wanna make them, you know, perk up a little bit. You can really customize the whole situation if you want to, but the color, it's not like the blue tape, it's not the white tape, it's more of a skin tone color, which is perfect if you're going to be out in the sun or taking flash photos, you don't want to be able to see the white tape underneath your clothes, you know what I mean? So this right here, it's a lifesaver. It really, really is. And I tried looking for this tape in stores and no luck. I tried looking at Home Depot, Lowe's, like all that stuff, and I cannot find this anywhere except for on Amazon. And then this is some double-sided clothing tape, which I never used. I always felt like, eh, it doesn't work. It's probably gonna unstick, blah, blah, blah. But no, this, you can tape it on the inside of your shirt or your dress, whatever you want, and then tape it onto your skin and it actually stays in place. Um, if you're gonna wear this and you're gonna be like running a marathon or something and you're gonna be sweating a lot, then it is going to come off. Like I'm not even gonna lie and sit here and say it doesn't come off because it does after a little bit. Do you guys hear the rain? But anyways, yeah, it does come off after a little bit if you're like sweating a lot. But if you're, it's a normal day, you're wearing it for a short amount of time for a date night or something, you'll be fine. But I find that this has worked best with silky tops. The top just, it sits perfectly wherever you tape it. So I really, really like that. But that is everything for my recent Amazon favorites. I haven't been doing a whole lot of shopping on Amazon, but whenever I do get a lot more goodies, I will make sure to film another just random Amazon haul. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, a huge thank you to BioClarity for sponsoring a portion of today's video and everything that I talked about will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, los quiero mucho, and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.